Okay, to factor the top equation, what I did is I moved the 30x, 36x over and I pulled a common factor out. From here, all I have to do is concentrate on how to factor this thing over there. Um, the easiest thing to do is here, I see the, this, this uh, awkward shortcut. Let's see if we can follow it. What I did is I'm going to write up and down 5x because 5x times 5x is 25x. And then I'm going to write a vertical up and down here also. I'm looking for a factor of minus 36. Okay, I could have minus 4, uh, positive 9, or positive 9 minus 4, and so on and so forth. And I also can have 1 and minus 36. So the trick is try to figure out what block goes in here such that when they go multiply, you have minus 36. Up and down, when you multiply, you have minus 36. And when you go across like this and add it together, what you want is minus 25. Let's move up a little bit. And if you um, practice here and there a little bit, and you can see this is a 4 and minus 9. The reason is that when we do 5x times minus 9, I have more, minus 45x. If I add that with 4 times 5x, I have 20x. That gives me the cross term of minus 25x. So to write it out, so what I have is 5x minus 4 plus 4, okay. that's this chunk, times 5x minus 9. Okay, now let's check it. Let's do the underbelly and then do the upper belly here. Okay, underbelly says 5x times 5x, I have 25x squared, and then I have minus 45x and then plus 20x and then minus 36 and this gives me minus 25x so our, our original equation becomes x times 5x plus 4 and 5x minus 9 equal to 0 and from here you can solve by setting this one equal to 0 and set this chunk equal to 0 so you have x is equal to minus 4 over 5. And if you set this chunk equal to 0, then you'll have x equal to 9 over 5. All right? Have a confident day.